could this be the ultimate workshop for a suburban garage? Stay tuned to find out. It's better than nothing. So we're gonna start over here. This is the grinding station. This is a bench I made some time ago out of an old school desk. Extended the legs, put some wheels on it, lockable wheels, made a shelf. Here we have mostly power tools, just things that I use on a daily basis. I don't bother hanging them because wall space is at a premium as well. First order of retrievability. Behind me too, lots of storage. Labeled, clearly love a good labeling system. Camping gear up the top, lots of other things. Bags, mess, another fan. This is a old addition, but a new setup in terms of its uh, vertical nature. Usually, obviously, it sits and points out, but I've decided that having this grinder this way around is way more effective. It's not perfect, but it's better. I do the knives and the grinding on here. It's just a L bracket uh, with a bit of plywood. Experimental MDF sharpening wheel. And on the end, table saw. Cheap as chips, but very effective. Over here, we have the main workbench area. This is a drafting drawer system. A neighbor gave this to me a long time ago. He was a draftsman. He got it from his old work. I haven't finished grinding off the faces. I've got two more to go. I really like the metal. You can also have name stamps for what you're working with here. I kind of like this, but there's so much in them that it's not even worth trying to fit it on the little bit. I used to label them, but now I just remember. It's metal on the top. I used to have a larger bit of wood, but this is fine. We can move around. Yes, that is an IKEA trolley unit. Lots of things in there, like, again, order of first retrievability. It's very important to have things to hand. So cloths, things that use oil, some camera gear, bits of leather up here, blow torches, glue, and sandpaper. And then on the top, this is the PPE drawer, or rather the PPE tray. Again, things hanging up that you need. And then over here is the leather working station, I guess you could call it. Other things like stamp sets. Again, things to hand that you always need, cutters and markers and things like that. There is a bandsaw behind there, cheap as chips, does the job. I barely use it. Cheapo, cheapo little like um, paper towel. It looks lovely. As you go around, I've mounted a pillar drill, very useful. It's not a floor mounted one, it's a bench mounted one, um, but I've mounted it to the floor. Plastic PVC is filled with concrete. There's a bit of wood. There's a base plate. There's a bag of concrete <laughs> on the floor. There's metal strapping. Everything to keep it secure and not as wobbly. And it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Otherwise, it wobbles around. Who wants a wobbly thing? And then we've got basic storage. Apron. Uh, leather on the top. Other stuff. This is storage for stock and other stuff. There's the boxes for the axes. I've also got these cool drawers, which I made. You can see them sectioned out, labeled. I need some bolts and I need some nuts. I try to keep things neat because useful, non. Vice, very useful. That's just drilled straight in here with some bolts coming through. Adam Savage, you could be wrong. Drawers are awesome. Let's take a look at the drawers. Hmm. So, as we go, we have abrasives and we have glues, uh, things to stick, things to attach. And then this is measuring and cutting, a little bit of measuring. And we got ratchet spanners, most of the ones I use, all the Allen keys. And then this is cutting too, so there's a saws and snips and there's the odd knife or two in there and other measuring stuff. So that's measuring and cutting. Um, Screwdrivers, pliers, wrenches, hammers, mole grips. There's another set of screwdrivers in there. And then packet stuff, obviously socket sets, forceners, bill, drill bits, saw blades. That's some like sanding drums. And then this is like the junk drawer in a way. It's just like lots of brackets and random crap, files, uh, chisels, and then more nuts and bolts and other crap. And then tape, probably the tape could go in the top for adhesives and sticking things together, hole saw, and then like little extra bits and pieces that you keep. And then the last drawer is clamps and glue, uh, sealant and liquid nails, and then all sorts of clamps. So that is my drawer system and it works like a charm. There it is. Boom. The ultimate suburban garage workshop, maybe drawer system of dreams. Obviously when the garage doors open, things like half as big again, it feels so much better.